what is up <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen so we are back with another episode of Ashrin's call and I decided to make a new character so we'll kind of go through what that is about I made an Empyrean uh, solely because I wanted the feature of not happening to need a foci to do life magic just to have one extra bag and why is he so freaking tall I don't know if I like that so I kind of wish I could go through the training academy but I can't so we'll just yeah on the test server the training academy actually works is that a corpse oh I think I'm seeing things So we will flat out drop this, and I just realized something. I didn't actually take fletching. There we go. It would help to actually be able to make, you know, some arrows. That's helpful. So hopefully this is recording. My graphic settings are on low. It was on low because I was running my multiple accounts on this computer, but I've since changed that. I wanted to have this computer free to do other things, so my old computer is actually running my four accounts. and. As you can see, what I think is very interesting is people are always talking about running the game in windowed mode, and I never understood why. Because I am running the game in full screen, as you can see. My other computer has four accounts, and it's running in full screen. And what's pretty cool is you just got to hit Alt-Tab, and it switches between the different accounts. So you go, you hit Alt Tab, it goes to my next account. Alt Tab goes to the next account, you know, in order. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, even the website, the GDLE website, says one of the first things you should do when you get into the game is switch it to windowed mode. And I never did that, and I didn't understand why. It's, I can't imagine playing the game uh, constantly. I can't imagine playing the game in windowed mode all the time. So, I don't know if it's the, I don't really know what the heck that's all about, but I am perfectly able to play in full screen mode on both of my computers, and I can run multiple accounts. I actually have two accounts running on this computer right now. I'm not sure if I switch the other one, if it'll actually... Let me just try and just see what happens. I'll just hit Alt-Tab and see if it... Yeah, this is my other account here. This is Moy, uh, currently. The bottom character here. And this is my other characters on the other computer. Four accounts in full screen mode uh, that are playing. So yeah, as you see, it's full screen. <laughs> So I'll we'll alt-tab and go back to our other account, and hopefully it is recording. Yeah, you can see what happens when I hit alt-tab. It literally does that. It just switches between the two accounts. It shrinks the one down and brings the other one into focus. And... 
I see my add-on isn't working. I don't understand why. Tings is not on. I don't see nameplates. All right, so we're back, and hopefully we're recording. And just as a side note, I'm on the Reef Call uh, server, and this bot right here, whoever's bot this is, the Wendon, the bot sucks. It is missing spells, or it just doesn't do everything complete. Like, just to give you an example, if you're a bow user, like I am, and you tell her missile weapons, or MW, it will buff you, but she won't buff your weapon. You have to tell a separate command of weapon to get that. To get all the buffs, you gotta say missile weapons, and then weapon. And then she doesn't even blush your, uh, buff your fletching skill. Like, part of missile weapons should be fletching. You shouldn't have to ask for that individually. And it's just a pain. When I first started, uh, there was actually a bot set up in my... Somebody from my guild had it set up. It was over here. And his name was Bust for All. And one thing I noticed is when I got buffs from him, I could kill things. When I got buffs from her, I struggled to fight. So she misses a lot of buffs, and I haven't played AC in a while, so I'm not really sure of what all buffs she misses. But besides the weapon buffs, and doesn't buff your fletching. So the best buff bot that I've seen currently that we still have that plays is this OG Sixer. To my knowledge, he actually buffs everything. This bot, Wendon, whoever's bot this is needs to fix it because it is seriously not a good bot. And the fact people even use it is amazing to me. What I do is I will whisper Wendon, for example, to get Missile Weapon. And then I'll whisper OG Sixer the same exact command, Missile Weapon. Because now I don't trust, because of Wendon, that I'm getting all the buffs. So maybe between the two of them, I'll get actually get all my buffs. But yeah, that bot needs removed, that Wendon. It's terrible. So OG Sixer is the main one that I use. When Dawn, I just tell her commands just as a just in case OG Sixer happens to mix some of the buffs. For the longest time, this Path Warden, I had that token on my main character and I looked all over this town for this Path Warden and I couldn't freaking find it. I'm going to be a nice guy. And I'm going to save the last one. I have a special thing in mind for that one. So anyway, we will go by... Oh yes, this is what I wanted to do. I want to be a funny guy. Kind of be an idiot. This guy, Roland, is a buff bot also. And he's always saying, The last person to give me an item was blah, and they gave me blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to give him directions to the drudge hideout. And now he's going to announce, the last person to give me an item was Eddie One. And he gave me directions to the Drudge Hideout. <laughs> I want to make sure he knows how to get there. You know what I'm saying? And then later on, when I go to get buffed again, I'm going to give him these pair of boots. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. So, I have never actually done this cow tipping quest so maybe maybe I should do it I'm trying to think if I should swear this character and I do have this cow tipper for a reason turn off health Not what I want to click. Hello. I 
I think you gotta tip this thing like 300 times. I've never actually done this quest, never saw a reason to. I'm gonna do things different, and I'm going to do the facility hub quest. I've never done the cow tipping quest, ever. Even in the live server, I'd never done it. And I never did the facility hub. I happen to see in the facility hub, I don't even really go there, that they have levels on the sections. Like this is for level 10, you know, 20, 30. And I've heard people talk about these quests, but I didn't really know anything about it. So I know a little bit more about it. So I'm actually going to try to level differently this time. Generally, what I would do is get buff from the buff bot, then go to Red Spire, I believe, and go to the Othal Arcade. And I would stay there until I was level 30. And then once I was level 30, I would go to Tusker Island and go to one of the Tusker dungeons and just kill Tuskers up until level 50. So this time, I'm going to do it completely different and do facility hub quest until I'm level 50 and just see how long it takes. It would take me about a day uh, the way I was doing it, which is the Othal Arcade and then the Tusker Island to get to level 50. Like a full day, like basically like 24 hours. So I'm going to see if doing the facility hub quest is any faster. So I'll let this record while it's tipping cows and I'm going to swear this character to my mule. I don't really know why, but may as well. No reason not to. Well, which one? I have two. I have my salvage mule and I have my regular mule. I don't know. Maybe I should swear this character to my regular mule. Have my regular mule swear to my salvage mule. Have my salvage mule swear to one of my other characters. I'm such an idiot giving this bot some random things. <laughs> I'm a moron. That guy's gonna hate me. I never use him for the record. I don't think I don't really think anybody does. So let me get my other character up and going that I wanna swear this character to. <laughs> I'll pause it. Alright, so the swearing is done. Hopefully it works because we're all the same level. I think from what I understand, you're actually supposed to be higher. Your patron's supposed to be higher than you by a level, but same level should work, I don't know. It did pass up experience, so we're good. We are good. You are obviously you are obviously bored. Maybe you should check your titles. So they assume don't uh, assume only bored people do that. <laughs> and I, I could probably agree with that. Unfortunately, titles don't work in the emulator. So, so yeah, let's go. Let's go uh, get arrows first. Then we will start on the facility hub quest. This character is so huge. Uh, fletching items. I don't have enough to buy it, so I have to buy singles. This is actually my third archer I will have. I just love archers. Facility hub we are going to. And we are... I don't need to look there. I can actually see it. Oh, the add-on's not updated. Oh, that's funny. The status hub didn't update. We are level 18, is that right? Yeah, 18. So facility hub, here we go. <coughs> Never actually did these quests. So let me do something now.
to the left are the easier task. Oh, lag. What do you do, dude? Facility hub portal gem. Okay. Miscellaneous, yeah. Services, okay. They got buffs and stuff, okay. What level were they? Fourth. Okay. So. Level 30. Level 35. I thought I said to the left was the easier task. Isn't that what it said? The left is supposed to be, unless I'm misunderstanding. Let's go to the right. Okay, here we go, level 10, 15. So we'll just start with this. I don't even know what this is about. Talk to this dude. Tom, return the hauberk to him. <laughs> Let's pull up our fancy... Holy smokes! I don't even know what to say. Is that locked? It was not locked. I should have turned my graphics up because they kind of suck. Wait a second. I actually thought I wanted to go this way. It shows mobs are supposed to be here, but they are not here. Actually, it took a lot of hits to kill that. This is actually what I'm looking for a new bow. Thank you. 
So in here. Through this door. Yeah, debuff me. Am I lagging? I won't equip that. I want to equip. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Got our key. How many uses does it have? Three. Okay. It's annoying me that it won't equip that frickin' pants so whatever I'll just drop them I don't even care so now we need key two I'm just getting the keys in order I don't even know if I have to do it that way for all I know the final door is unlocked first. place <clears throat> it's here yeah one opens this. There we go, 
we got the key two. Key three is down here, so let's make our way to key three. <coughs> Through here, take a left. Let's go into here, okay. Let's go straight. Take a right here. And it's here. What key opens it? Key one? Key two. You got key three. Alright, so... What is the alloy tool? Do we have to go to plus one? How do we get there? Seven gets there. So how do we get the six? Six is here. I need a fourth key. That's the fourth key. Oh my god, this place is... If I go to plus one, where does that go? That's negative one. Where is plus one? Plus one's here. That's where I started. <coughs> How do I get here? One. Oh my god. This place is freaking confusing. Oh, right through here I can get. I didn't notice that. Is that here? Take that. All 
All right, so now this connects to one. And where the heck was one? Where is one? Where is one? Where is one? <laughs> oh my god. One is here, and that goes to here. Okay. We'll just. We'll do that. I don't know what that alloy tool is. So we're basically here now. Not this way, this way, I think. Okay, that kind of hurt. That okay, that really kind of hurt. I'm hoping he dies before I die. Wow. Eh, I'll take it. I don't really like crossbows, but it's definitely better. So I'm actually here somewhere. I'm healing. I'm not letting my health get low like that. What is this tool? Bring it to an agent of the Arcanum. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to three. Where is three? Go this way, this way. Go south, basically. Ah, I'm out, out in combat. Am I going the right way? Oh wow, 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 I got burning the galore. sure I'm going where I want to go. Can I drop this bow? Yes. Alright, so where's three now? I'm now at three. Here. Really? I need to get to seven. 
7 connects to here. So where the heck is 7? Here, I need to get the 6. Where's 6? Here, okay. So I'm here. We need to go into here, I believe. And get right in the doorway. Line it up. Okay. So I'm here. There he is, battling ogre. There it is. That's gonna be fire errors. Wow, okay. This gave me a key. An oddly shaped key. What is the purpose of that? So this goes to four. Is there a reason to go to four? Four is here. I basically think I'm done here. Uh, I'm gonna loot some things just to sell it. I'm gonna be quite burned. I should actually raise my strength. Yeah, it didn't really help that much. <laughs> what is this? I'm just staying here to get more fire arrows. <laughs> Ogre's here. The room prior. Where would that be? The large room. This is the large room. But it doesn't show that there's a chest in there. I'm going to try something. I'm just going to add chests. There is a chest down there. Wait a second. There is not a chest down here. It looks like it's down even further. That was a waste. 
waste of my time. Oh my god. I actually died from that. At least anything important? I don't think so. I don't even care. I'm not going back. <clears throat> so yes, just to show you, Asher's Call does not look this bad. Uh, if I pull it up here, config, I put everything on very low. I could go to very high, but I put it on very low. And everything's on low. And the reason I did that, again, was when I had it on very high, when I had four accounts running on here, well, actually two accounts, excuse me, when I had my two accounts running on this computer, so I had two on this computer, two on the other computer, it was crashing a lot. And lowering the graphics as low as they could possibly go helped tremendously for it not to crash. So I can probably raise them up back, uh, back now, and I'm actually thinking, actually think I'm going to. I'm not really going to be running multi-accounts on this computer anymore. I'm going to be running one account that I'm actually playing. Uh, if it crashes on the other computer of four accounts all the time, so be it. I'm not tying up this computer when I have videos that I like making, so... So yeah, I'm going to sell these things, get buffed up, and then I'm gonna actually going to restart and turn the graphics up to where they should be. Alright, so we're back. I turned it all up. I haven't actually restarted yet, but it looks much better. It's funny, because when I turn this down to here, and then I check and uncheck this, the buildings change. That actually looks better. That looks worse. so weird it changes it when I put it to detail it stays like that so yeah they're uh, maxed out as high as they can go very high and then this actually goes to extreme so let's see what other options we can change here And then, save auto UI. <clears throat> Alright, so now I will pause it and then I'll come back. <coughs> Alright, so we are back in action. Oh, <coughs> oh, 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 do I need something? Uh. Hopefully, I think we have enough to... I was wondering if I needed more arrows, but... Hopefully I have enough to just do what I need to do. And I am buying the facility hub portal gem this time. So I can go directly from the dungeon, the quest area, back to the facility hub. Instead of having to go to the marketplace, then facility hub. Oh, they don't stack. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Right there. Level 10. Here's your stinking hauberk. He gave me one back. Okay, that was kind of weird. Can I give you another one? Can you 
Can you give me another quest? Oh, you've already completed the quest. Ah, he's on to my trickery. What do you want me to do, dude? So I want a Tashi. I don't stray too far. So I want the Moss Wart Mucker. I think they're swearing. Got it. Now this is my type of quest. Just run in, bam, quest done. Lathilla, yeah. I <laughs> this is actually one of the bows I usually go and get. Lathilla's bow. However, I did learn that it's supposed to come as a broken bow. You give it to this person to fix it, but it doesn't. That doesn't happen. So we're going to Hunter's Leap. This is right there. So this was a very confusing dungeon, also. But hopefully, since I've run it quite a few times, it's not that confusing. Now, this was, geez, like a month ago, but whatever. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit more confusing than I thought. Are these guys still bugged? Yeah, they don't actually hit you. Oh, but they cast magic now. That that is new. So we're going to go this way. I want to see something here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the jump across. Yep. All right. So Ah, whoo, I thought I missed it. Ha ha. We're going to We're going to get there. experience with these guys giving me. They seem overly hard. I can't even hit. I don't want to just waste an arrow. So 
6,000 XP, huh? Alright, so we're going to get to the Lothilla's bow in one shot. There's going to be no backtracking. So you want to go, it looks like this way. This would be my guess. I'm taking a, a kind of a guess from memory. Alright, so we're here. Which way do you want to go? Think about this. I think it's south. Yeah, you want to go in the south one? Yep. You want to go up here, take a left, and that goes to one, and the one takes you down to here, which is where her bow is. Go up here, hang the left, go down, and her bow, so now we're down the ramp, we're here, just follow this around, go back to where this is saying. Right over here. What the? That freaking that guy is hurting me like bad. good against weak I mean to good fire you guys good against weak yeah that makes sense and when these guys get bows fire was really doing that good of damage. Four and then five. stacking things. Alright, so let's... I think the fire was actually better. This guy looks like he's shooting lightning. He is shooting lightning. Wow. 
Wow. Well, I'm glad they don't chase me, because I'd be, like, dead right now. Wow, that is unbelievable. Ah! There's another one. Wow, that is intense. So is the bow supposed to be... I lost track of the bow now. Lost track of where I am. I think it's supposed to be in... It's right here. I see it now. See, it doesn't come as broken. It's just flat out Latilla's bow. So if you hand it to that person that, uh, to fix it, they will just actually keep it. Ooh, 270 wheel though, that's kind of high. I'm going to see if I can get another bow, because I do want to try to hand it to that person, just to make sure that it still does the wrong thing. Who's going to die first? Oh, it respawned already. Okay. So, let me... Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Okay, I'm just going back to Facility Hub. Just want to give the bow to her. She should keep it, give you experience, and that's that. So it's supposed to come as a broken bow. It does not. Uh, that's what I remember. You give it to her, inspect, she fix it, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, so. What quest you got, woman? Hope it's for this armor. So I need the hammer. So I need the key. Okay, so I gotta buy the key. From there. It's where that this I'm gonna buy a bunch of baskets. Sure, why not? Uh this key uh 
I've gotten it before because I think you get flagged for PvP in this dungeon. That's just what comes to my mind. It is quite a run. They were right about that. So I do want to go check my other characters, so I'm going to go do that. Make sure they're still killing. I'm not quite sure what's going on. uses this key have? Three. Magic number is three. Three for everything. Huh. I was just thinking. Hmm. I'll say what I'm thinking in a minute. Let me get here. What the heck is that? What are you? Why are you here? Wait, what? Am I crazy? Where is the dungeon? Is that it? I don't really know what just happened. There was definitely no dungeon there. That's not what I remember. So something must have changed. So to keep that quest intact, they did that. <laughs> so we'll see if this is what he needs or her. Yep. So this is what I was thinking. Uh, basically, I like the facility hub quest. I, I really do. It actually makes it a little bit interesting. Uh, pouring a drink, excuse me. I'm really thirsty. It makes it interesting, and I am not used to doing quests in Ashran's Call for experience. Basically, when I first played Ashran's Call, there was no quest. Uh, there was no quest that led from one point to another. I mean, the only quest I could think of that I did was like the Othal Queen. You know, you go talk to this person, do this, 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 kill the queen. Uh, then to get the Tusker Fist... You kill Bobo or whatever it is for the Tusker Island. But that was basically it. I mean, you wanted an item, so you go did these little steps to get that item. Uh, I didn't look at them even back then as quests or as missions or, you know. It was just 
oh, I want this hollow sword. So I'm going to go do these steps and get the hollow sword. You know, you know I'm going to go do this quest. But this whole concept is new to me in Ashran's Call. So with that, this is what I have to say about it. I think for me, what I do uh, on every character previously, use the buff bot, go to the Otho Arcade, then get to level 30, then go to the Tusker Dungeon. Uh, that for me works. And I don't think doing these facility hub quests is going to be faster for me because I just don't know the quest. If you actually have gone through these quests and you know them, I imagine you can knock them out very quickly and if you know the dungeon. So if you've done them before, once or twice, then absolutely this is probably the way to level to get to 50 the fastest. But for me, since I've never done them, uh, it's going to take quite a bit of time. Unless all of them are simply walk through that portal, run to these cords, and the items laying on the ground, <laughs> then that might <laughs> be pretty good. But if it's to go through a confusing dungeon where I have to use the dungeon map uh, to navigate it, yeah, it's going to take a while. And for me to get to level 50, I think it's going to... It's it's going to take longer than just flat out killing. So, yeah, that was the you know general idea. Let's just show this a little bit. Show the facility hub quest is a new concept and idea to me. And I will finish up the last one here. And then level 25. Okay. Am I actually too high for it now? No. So, yeah. With that, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a little, you know, thing that was something that's new to me. I thought we'd experience it together. So, with that, take care.